guys, it's Emma. So today I'm going to be doing a 4th of July outfit, makeup, and hair. First of all, I am getting over being sick, so that's why my voice sounds like this. And second of all, this is a collab, so my friend Madeline May is going to be posting the exact same video, but she's going to have, obviously, different makeup, hair, and outfit. So if you want to go see her video, the link will be down in the description, and you can also click on the screen right over here and yeah if you guys are subscribed be sure to subscribe you can click that little red button down in the description box you should definitely hit it if you're on a laptop or a computer or anything like that where you have access to click on the screen then feel free to click that subscribe button right over here and all that does is give you notifications whenever I upload since it's summer I'm uploading every Saturday and Tuesday now so you have two videos to look forward to every single week and let's just get on to the video Okay, hey guys, so the first thing I'm doing is putting my hair out of my face so that no makeup gets in my hair, and then I am just doing my normal everyday makeup routine on my face. Um, if you haven't seen that, then you can go check out the most recent video I did on my everyday makeup routine, but for the most part, the, f the face makeup is the same as it was in that video, so I'm just kind of speeding through this since I recently did a video on that. Now starting on my eyes, I'm taking my Pacifica Trio palette and I'm taking the lightest color in that palette and just putting it as a base on my entire lid up to my brow bone. Then taking the second color in that palette, it is just like a brown metallic color, I'm taking that and just putting it in the crease of my eye to add more depth to my eye. Then taking the last color in that palette, I am just putting it in my the crease of my eye and blending that out. Then I'm taking my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and I'm taking the gold and just putting that um, just on my lid again to add a lot more sparkle since it is the 4th of July and it's all about sparkle and stuff. I'm doing the same thing with another gold. It's the Mars Gold Potted Eyeshadow and I'm just doing the same thing to add more oomph if you feel me. Um, and then I'm going in with my Naked 3 palette and adding a dark color into the crease to add more definition again. Then I'm just blending everything out to make sure there are no harsh lines on my eye and everything looks good. Then I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner and creating a slight wing. You could do a bigger wing if you want, but you know, that's a little risky for me because I'm not too good at that. Then I'm going with a pencil liner and doing it on my waterline to add that nice bold effect. For my lips, I'm just going in with my EOS and moisturizing them before I put on my nice bright red lipstick. I'm using my Sephora lipstick and then I am just putting that all over my lips. I feel like it's not 4th of July without red lipstick and you can never go wrong with red lipstick. It makes any outfit and yeah. So we're all done with the makeup and let's go to hair. So for the hair, I'm just going to be pretty simple and straighten it so it's easier to work with and easier to do the style that is more to my liking, if you feel me. So yeah, for that look, we are simply just going to take two sections and then braid them back and then tie them in the back so it's like a half up, half down thing with braids. It's very simple, very easy. You probably do it every single day because like it's the most simple thing ever, but yeah, then I just pulled apart the braids to add a little more volume. So now we're going to move on to my favorite part, the outfit. So I'm just wearing some, ar nope, this is not army green. I'm wearing some gray shorts from PacSun and I just put a red flannel around it. It's like a red, white, and blue flannel, 
flannel and it's the literally the only pop of red I have in my wardrobe so yeah then I'm taking my navy blue v-cut shirt from Target and that is the outfit and for shoes I am obviously wearing some white high top converse because you can never go wrong with those they are classic and if you're going to be outside you don't want to be wearing flip flops and get them all dirty and stuff so I think this outfit's good for playing outside um, if you're having like a barbecue and I have no idea what I'm doing in these clips but I think yeah. this is a good outfit to wear if you're having a barbecue or something outside because it's not too hot and won't make you sweat too much if you feel me <laughs> so thank you guys for watching if you liked it be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and let's see if we can get this video to 10 thumbs up also comment down below telling me what you're doing for 4th of July and as always also leave video requests and I will be sure to do them. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!